hey, I'm dis, <laughs> you know, disrespect. Uh, of course, you know that because you, you invited me here, right? And I got to tell you, I love this place. I love hanging here. There's so many, so many great things to do, so many opportunities. And every, every, ever since you just kind of opened that door and let me in, you know, I, I felt so welcome here. And I, I thought it was so cool how eager you were to just say, come on in, man. You know, be you, right? Do what you do. And that, that's, that's what I'm doing here. And I got to tell you, our partnership, our partnership is working out beautifully. Take Allison here. I mean, she's a nobody, right? And it's your job and my job, <laughs> to remind her of that every single day. This is what I do. I point out things that are completely unimportant and I get you guys all riled up about it. I mean, look at this, look at her clothes, look at her arm. Can, can, can you say freak? And what you guys did last week, I mean, it was amazing. She almost, she almost killed herself. It, it, it was freaking epic. It really was, and it was really good timing because you know our dad's kind of been out of work, and our mom's got this incurable whatever. But I mean, what does that have to do with you and me? And so what? If you wouldn't want to be treated like you treat her, what is that? The, like the golden rule? Hey, the golden rule's gone, babe. I mean, gone like twilight, if you know what I mean. Jesse, right? Smart kid, not particularly athletic, but there be me entry point, savvy? Hey, let's face it, the way I make you guys insult this guy every day and throw little things at him, he's never coming back. He's never coming back to this school again. So what, he was gonna grow up and be this great doctor and save one of your pitiful lives? I mean, who, who cares? What's that got to do with today? And what's that have to do with your right to say whatever you want to to anybody at any time, okay? So this kid gave up on his dream. So what, is that your problem? Yeah, you hurled some stuff at him and he cries and cries and doesn't wanna pursue anything worthwhile anymore. Is that really your fault? I mean, just because he can't take it? That's what I'm talking about, people, okay? You, you forget what's right. It's survival of the fittest, remember? Look, look, all I'm saying is it, it, a couple more little pushes, and, and then this wuss, he's gone, he's gone for good, right? So to you, I say bravo, because we're about to get rid of one more wasted human life, okay? That deserves a round of applause. You know, uh, Cindy here, she's a whole nother story. Yeah, she's cute and she's popular, but I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna rip her life apart. What I'm gonna do is convince some of these weak-minded boys to see if they can uh, hook up with her. You know what I'm saying? Hmm? Hmm? Did he say that? Did he say hook up? Yeah, I said it, okay? And now's the perfect time to do it. You wanna know why? You wanna know why? Because her father's in the military and he's overseas fighting for our freedom or some kind of crap like that. So what I gotta do is know the perfect time to just move in. Her mom doesn't pay attention. So, so Cindy here, see Cindy here, she's ripe for companionship. You know what I mean? Nobody to protect her. So, I mean, are, are you gonna protect her? I mean, no, nobody here's got the courage to do that, right? So what we're gonna get is a pregnant Cindy. I mean, a pregnant Cindy. Think about that, ooh yeah, like that. That'd be classic. Really? Yeah, sure, she has a thyroid problem and, and can't help it and all that, right? But somebody, somebody needs to tell her that she doesn't uh, fit in, you know what I mean? Someone doesn't have big issues, something like that. I mean, look, her own family. It doesn't even give her a break for being fat, so when she comes here, why should you? Huh? Why should you be any different? You know, wh what's the point anyway? All she has to do is jump jump on a treadmill or something right there. Well, why is this my responsibility? Okay, why, why do we have to go around trying to make people's lives better? What, what's in it for us? Besides, look at her. She's going to die soon anyway. She's going to die of a heart attack because of all the stress and all the humiliation that you caused. Yeah, you caused it. Let's just admit it. It's okay. Admit it. I mean, you're outstanding people for doing that. All you people that actually pick on others and, and bully them, you're outstanding. Matter of fact, I would call you some of my greatest minions. I, I mean, <laughs> I mean the, uh, heroes. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, that's what I meant, seriously. So let's, just, let's go to a classroom real quick, you and me. Oh, yeah, Mr. C. You know what goes on in his classroom nowadays makes me so proud. I mean, it, it, it really does. I mean, it's total mayhem. Not one of you gives this guy a break at all. I mean, sure, he was a he was a great teacher a couple of years ago and all that stuff. He even won some awards, but that was before, you know. That was before I got here. Before I got here and sucked all of you in. And now, of course, nobody listens to this fool. I mean, why would they? Huh? Why, why would you listen to the guy? He's got nothing to offer. Okay, maybe maybe he would have given you something. Maybe he would have helped some of you be like, live happy lives and fulfilling. But who really deserves that around here? Huh? You? And besides, I mean, look at him now. It's, it's, it's pitiful. I mean, he's scared to even look at you people. But well, the important thing is, is you're about to get rid of one of the best teachers this school has ever seen. And for that, I'm gonna have to give you two thumbs way up. Good job, guys. So I just wanna say you know, one last thing. I, it's, it's really cool how uh, we become fast friends, you and me. You know, together we've, we've turned this place into a true cesspool of disrespecting parasites. And I, I, I gotta tell you, man, to watch that, to watch you guys suck the life out of this place and each other has been a sight 
to behold. It really is. I mean, we are, we are becoming a disease that is actually disrupting every single life here. And I gotta tell you guys, I gotta tell you, I love that kind of power. I love it. So, uh, so thank you. I mean, thank you for your weakness, for your cowardice and your, and your bad attitudes. We could be, if we just keep it up, if we can just please keep it up a little bit longer, none of you will amount to anything. And then my job here will be done and I can just move on. I mean, I do have to tell you as I'm contractually bound to do so that you do have the power to stop me. But you won't, because I'm too addicting. I mean, I got you where I want you. So one last time, thank you so much for being my slaves. Mm -hmm.